Hi, Peter here. Welcome to a simple software tutorial. If you've ever had the need to record your kills on Call of Duty, or your stunt in GTA, chances are you've probably looked at some game or screen recorders. You probably found heaps, but some can cost hundreds of dollars. In this tutorial, I'm going to present four free game recorders that will quite literally give the others a run for their money. The programs that I will be explaining to you are free. The links to download them will be in the description. The software that I'll explain how to use are Open Broadcaster Software, MSI Afterburner, Cam Studio, Microsoft Expression Encoder 4. You can click the annotations to skip to the part of the tutorial explaining each program. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to explain Open Broadcaster Software. Now, this is what you'll see when you first open it. Okay, to record the screen, or to record your games, what you want to do is click on settings, and you want to go to encoding first. Now you want to change the settings so they're like mine, so everything is set up like mine, and you want to tick this custom buffer size, and buffer size 0 kilobits, and 5000 kilobytes per second for the max bitrate. Now, for broadcast settings, you want to change it from live stream to file output only. And you could choose which file path you want, and that is where your videos will save to. And apply your settings. And in video, you can choose what aspect ratio and resolution you want to record at. And the frames per second. 30 is what I think will be good. Or 60 if you want, but 30. Now here you could choose if you want to record your voice, which I'm not going to do right now, and then everything else is fine. Now to record the monitor of the game, you want to go here, monitor capture, or game capture. Now monitor capture will capture your whole monitor, and I have two monitors, so I'll choose monitor one, and then press OK, and start recording, and this will record your screen. Okay, now press stop recording when you want to stop. And another way to record is if you want to record a game individually, you press game capture, okay, and then you choose here what window your game is. So I'll choose this goat game, which is goat simulator. Then press okay and start recording. And press stop when you want to stop. And that's it for open broadcaster software. Next, I'll explain MSI Afterburner. Okay, to record your games with MSI Afterburner, what you want to do is open it up, press yes, if that pops up for you, and then you want to go here and then click settings. Now, letting you know MSI Afterburner is usually a overclocking software, but yes, you can use it for video capture. Okay, so you want to set a hotkey for video capturing, and I set F2 because in most games it's not used. And then you want to set up these like this. You want 100% quality and frame size full and then frame rate 30 frames per second. You could do more but it's kind of pointless because YouTube and other sites only use 30 frames per second max. And then you could choose a folder to save your videos. Okay, when you're done this, just press OK. Now, when you open up a game, or you, what you want to do is press the hotkey that you chose, which mine was F2, and then a little loading circle should pop up in the top left of the screen, and that signifies that the game is recording. Now you can play a game, and then just press F2 again, or your hotkey, when you want to stop recording. And that's all there is. And that's all there is to it, recording with MSI Afterburner. And I believe there is NVIDIA GeForce Recorder, which has sort of the same things. Okay, to record with Cam Studio, what you want to do is open it up. And you can record a region, a fixed region, window, all screens, or one of your screens. And what you want to do, first, you want to bring the game in, whichever game it is. And then go to Cam Studio, and then hit record and it will ask you click on window to be captured so then click on what you want to capture so i'm capturing this game 
And then when you want to stop, just go back to Cam Studio and press stop. And then it'll ask you where you want to save your game. And I'll just write game recording and press save. And then it'll show you a preview of what you've recorded. And that's how you record with Cam Studio. Okay, to record with Microsoft Expression Encoder 4, what you want to do, you open it up. And just to let you know, the, for the trial version, the screen capture is limited to 10 minutes, which is pretty good if you want to record games anyway. So what you want to do is go settings, and then set up the settings so then the frame rate is 30 frames per second, the bit rate is 5000, and the quality is 100. And then you want to go to audio if you want to record from your microphone. And then go hotkey. And you could choose a simpler recording hotkey. So I just choose F2 and then to stop recording I just choose F3. And then you press OK. And what you want to do is first open your game. And then have Microsoft Expression Encoder and just press record and it'll ask you to select which window or thing or selection so i'm just going to select this region which is my game and then just hit record and it'll count down for you and then it'll start recording the game and then to stop, you just hit your hotkey, which is, I chose F3. And it'll stop the recording. And it'll go here. And if you want to click send to encoder. And it'll open this up. And then you want to go file. Encode. And your files should be in my documents in the expression folder. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions ask them in the comment section.